Oh shit, <laughs> you done fucked up now. <laughs> Outlaws in this motherfucker. We just in this studio getting blown. Now check this new shit out for the new year. My dogs are busting with me. We hit them up till the end. But these bitches are like punches. Crash it, they hide in here. Y'all niggas are still breathing. Let's bust it. You must spin on that block. But we locked and loaded. We gon' we gon' hit them up. Again. With these weapons very strong. The defense is scary. Boom, and after we drop, there's no bomb in the secondary. Your honor, my defense is simple. They threaten into my peace. So my head on them's preemptive. And left all of them deceased. No witness. This is coming forward, the news said the shit was morbid I pops on my ops and guns moving them like a forklift Mr. Machiavelli, worldwide mob boss and gentleman You know who is it like that black nigga MC ran In a black minivan with black truck and black attire We blacking out, blasting enemies with rapid fire Kicking out my passion, there's too many of us killing over The violence spilling out the hood, so now the drill is over We outlaws to America, triple K's ways Give them they way and we be back in the slave trade. Soon as we win, they give us challenges. It's tougher than the last one. So grab your guns, let's hit them up again. My dogs are busting with me. We hit them up to the end. But these bitches are like roaches. Cracks that they hiding in. Y'all niggas are still breathing. Let's bust it. You and spin on that block. We'll be locked and loaded. We gon' we gon' hit Get them out up the again. way, yo. Give up the yay, yo. Cause all these corners is mine. Standing here could be fucking fatal. One we'll never tuck in my chain. Where the jersey at Cayman Islands. Torturous state of mind. Where I'm sent for a same asylums Go war with my chest out I really doubt there's more bravado No bull, but I put out more hits Than Salvatore Bravado My team is ready to spark You falling like Costello May go into beast mode But really my vibe's mellow Step out the door, cock and metal Heard some boxes on the plate I got blast them so loud That nearly half a jersey heard the shit I the boss of this Machiavelli A title he'll die forever My bullets are weatherproof They go right through your garments leather I strike it's your sore foot Now your block is a mausoleum Since Nothing will last forever. Live life like a scorpion. DM is a real motherfucker. Like I'm piping your father's BM. Hit him up, they're survivors. So let's ride, cause we gotta see him. Cold nights leave the sunny days when you grind at the speed that I do. Quick, fast, snatching your cash. That should pay for me being lied to. Keep it moving for the signs of your vitals. Turn critical with your mans. Plus, I'll spin back to finish all your survivors. All in on this one, liable to make front page. And flood your YouTube feed with all the content of me busting off the gauge. Must not have heard just quite exactly who you fucking with. Outlaws cold as to never fold Two more overthrow the government Get your section ain't like public assistance And when we hit them up We see two and all our foes Busters going with them And if not we even hit them up a third time Lessons learned I guarantee next war We'll wipe out all of them the first time This they last chance to cross us in the worst Cause ain't nowhere to hide Now that we move more militant than we did it first Got a bird's eye view of where all of them bitches rest at So we can't slip through the cracks Why you running anyway? I don't respect now, that Now your when you see me me to check this out won't be easy Can hide amongst a bunch of copies Many y'all wanna be me Since I've been spotted on TV To fill my shoes, it ain't easy I'll paint the wall with two busters We'll call it human graffiti And I got guns with extendos Plus a switch like Nintendo I killed the mogul, kept this debut Album is a memento No way out of this maze Don't come too close, bitch You sent you some for the fate of the four And pull that head in the rental I set this music ablaze Right on this lid instrumental I dope my foes like a pit For all the pitiful when you I'm like my God to do a lot with just little utensils Cause that's the gift of black seeds It's the brilliance in you But I ain't racist cause united We can run this bitch better They keep us separate Snatch your crumbs to keep our money together But it's our coming of age We see it through the same eyes So watch the devil lose his battle For our human demise My dogs are busting with me We hit them up to the end But these bitches are like roaches Cracks that they hiding in Y'all niggas are still breathing Let's bust it you and spin on they block But we locked and loaded We gon' We gon' hit them up and again And O'Dealy, bleed of Apollo Nobody seeing me on Flower Buzzy You know how I does it like Easy e Weapons are locked and loaded Take several cops to hold this outlaw back Loyalty forever, the dawn who show it So I'll show it back with L's Think our enemies born to hold it like Kennedy Set my aim to flex it upon the potus These days heavy, just like the medicine Boy, you throwin' that's cool Cause we gon' work it out every song I'm going this heavy is strong Sit right off the fifth till I'm plastic Put the clippin' in Blast it, y'all ridiculous bastards I've been built here to last With my whole foot in your ass And like a crook wear a mask For when police wanna ask shit Them body blows something But nobody knows nothing Try to slime me so Adios, fuck them in the discussion When there's a problem, folks ducking Once I'm about to eat something They running from us like Omar The second they see us
is coming. Now, if I learned anything in life, it's that a bitch nigga will never change. And if Machiavelli ran his rap shit, they call this his second reign. And to our laws of forever immortal, cause what you go against the grain, it makes a worldwide revolution, and shit'll never be the same. This ain't just for your entertainment, call it therapy for your brain. From some thugs that got more passion than Hennessy and Alize. You thought the forever dog was gone, you got it wrong, that's just a fallacy. We know hip hop for the disease, we about to kill you up the melody. Before we hit niggas up again, give them a chance to just stay out the way. Watch your puffies and buy a crumble. Throw something solid into paddle flakes. Some of y'all ain't speak on this evil. That's okay, stay in that coward's place. We got soldiers in high places, like a pound of eight, right to the face. Mobilize like the mob on the streets to see that your hood is safe. I cannot wait for these better days. How all our efforts culminate. And until it comes, I'ma hit them up so we end this till the end. And if any of y'all left over, I'ma hit their ass up again. Outlaws are busting with me. We hit them up till the end with these bitches are like roaches. Traps that they hiding in. Y'all niggas are still breathing less. Bust you and spin on their block where we locked and loaded. We go, we go hit them up again. Nigger! Okay, I'm here to talk about a fat, dumpy ass, ugly bitch ass, short, five foot six. You a sh oh man, yeah, you must have a terrible life. We're gonna talk about one of those niggers. We're gonna talk about a nigger that's a nigger in uh, black type of nigger, but he has the face of an acidic Jew. Not a hacidic Jew, but an acidic Jew. And I'm talking about Brian Nigger Vlogs. Now, you have an issue with me saying nigger, nigger, nigger with an extra ER, extra emergency room on it and all that shit, but let's really break it, br br break the shit down, Toad Space. You are the one that started talking about some race shit. He ain't even really black. He ain't even really black. You did it years ago, you did it now like it means something. Like, I, the whole point of me saying nigger, 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 at least in uh, this context, is to show that I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I don't give a fuck about trying to be black or being more black than I am or anything like that. That shit means absolutely nothing to me. I couldn't give a fuck less about that. I'm not uh, itching for anybody's acceptance. I'm the nigga that the acceptance itchers itch to get the acceptance of. You feel me, you little bits? You don't know about that because you a little short and herb ass motherfucker. The type of nigga the niggas dig their hands in their pockets like I do and sell you music and you don't get shit unless you get up off your ass then I'll break you off, right? You don't know about that type of stuff. See, you think from the perspective of somebody that's always trying to get someone's acceptance as you're doing with that rapist. You got a rapist now that you're just loving to get the acceptance of. You want the acceptance of a nigga that had his dick just a gooches away distance from another dick with a ugly bitch in between doing gay shit, sword plays. You, 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 what appears your swats is as big as mine type ass nigga. You, you, <laughs> you the nigga that approves shit like that. Raping crackheads <laughs> or whatever you doing with them. Rape, rape, rape. The nigga's just a rapist. A nigga that put his dick inside of men, men's mouth you know what i'm saying you want acceptance from herbs because you're a herb now i don't think you're as big a herb as him and that's the funny part <laughs> y'all both herbs but you ain't, <laughs> you ain't as fucked up as that nigger but yeah you started with the race shit talking about he ain't really black like as if i'm trying to get some acceptance and all this other stupid shit i don't give a fuck about any of that shit like i said i'm i'm i grew up and as a black motherfucker, you know, and yeah, I'm I let niggas know I'm mixed genetically because it would be stupid if I didn't. You could look at me and you could tell that I'm not all black, shit is obvious, you know. He said, Oh, he comes, he has a white Jewish mother and he has a middle eastern father. Like, how do you know this? Where, where did you get this info from? You looked at pictures or something? Like, no. I mean, I think it's cool. I love being racially ambiguous. I love being able to go to literally any hood of America or place of America or a place of prestige in the world. And there's going to be some motherfucker there that's of a different race that is suspecting that I'm of their race. Harlem is, I'm either Dominican or Puerto Rican. I go around my nigga Osama that I got on the screen. His type people. Niggas going to think that I'm rocking with them. They might speak all that type stuff. Shout out to that language. Not a disrespect. Just, you know, my quick interpretation of it. And they might think I'm down with that, especially now with this, uh, beautifully flowing beard that i have i love it i've always loved it i always thought it was it's fire to be uh, racially ambiguous yeah absolutely but as a mixed man i don't i'm not a mixed man that comes from one white parent one black parent completely both of my two parents are mixed just as i am black and white you feel me 
and my uh, culturally, I'm a, I'm a black man. I grew up culturally. So when I talk about I'm a black man, I'm talking about the shit that matters, the shit that's important, culture, nurture, you know, um, the stuff that molded you, the, the, the trials, the tribulations, the good, the bad, all that stuff. Culturally, I'm black. That's the shit that's important, at least to me. You know what I'm saying? And I've been through all the black power shit. I grew up just <laughs> a Gucci's distance away from 125th Street. So all that Sonnetter and all that black power shit. I was there when he was out there with the bullhorn selling T-shirts. <laughs> screaming at white motherfuckers going by as a shorty. So, yeah, they, they, all I've been there, done that of any... Uh, type of a uh, uh, movement shit that your mind could not even wrap around from the scientific type shit I've been through every uh, <laughs> belief system that says black people have superpowers and white and everyone else doesn't I've been through all those movements I've been through it all so you're not uh, in a position to talk about who's black or who's nigger this racist that whatever whatever when I say nigger I say nigger because it's funny and um but i also say cracker and the biggest niggers of them all that i mainly affect nigger too are racist white people and we're gonna get it, get in it today about the racist white people aka the niggers right because you're trying to um <clears throat> paint me as a racist somehow just from flexing a word and everything you know all this stupid shit but um let's talk about the rapists race racist Say that 10 times fast, y'all. The rapist's racist. The rapist's racist, right? We're talking about that rapist that you suck the top of. He he lives with a racist. We're going to call her the nigger bitch, right? Because that's what she is. Shout out to Shorty for the wonderful term. She's the one that came up with nigger bitch. So we're going to talk about the rapist's nigger bitch. Now, as you probably are aware, the rapist's mother passed away not long ago. She was a black woman, a typical black woman big mama type black woman and i don't say this disrespectfully i'm saying like when you think of black woman grandmother she's in the dictionary her picture's in the encyclopedia right atypical black woman black culture they're from a, a, a black town everything any which way you can that's that's a black family right there no question no doubt about it now the rapist is messing with a racist that moved into that black woman's house um her dwelling even though she's passed away it's her energy there whatever she did whether she legally owns the house or otherwise or however you look at it i don't know it's not my business but still she is the foundation big mama is the foundation of that shack that that guy steps into that stinks badly right it stinks over there yeah Big Mama is the foundation of that. And what does the rapist's racist or the rapist's nigger bitch do? She gets on YouTube and she makes fun of black people. She takes a dark-skinned black man and likens him to some blackface, old, honky-ass racist shit that niggas used to do back in the day. Disrespecting a black man, saying that, in, that, that the only thing you could see on him are his eyes and his teeth. You know, this is a cracker right here. This is a Caucasian, I don't know, Puerto puerto rican caucasian persuasion whatever variety of it is this is a motherfucking cracker a nigger bitch cracker so this nigger bitch cracker steps into this uh black woman's dwelling and makes fun of a black man but oh no hey she takes it even further than that she makes fun of black women and likens them to big mama type images but big mama type images in um a, a, a racist type of connotation you know like like the big mama with the ass out and the aunt jemima situation going on she's taking pictures of that and taking another black woman and making fun of her she talked about styles woman said she could climb a tree like a monkey or some shit talking about her being black and all this other shit every which way from sunday she's also went hard against black women on some racist shit and doing this in this black woman's dwelling now is that not a disrespect I mean, hey, is that first off, is that not racist? That's extremely racist. We're going beyond nigger and all that shit. We're talking about the actual actions of a nigger bitch. This nigger bitch has done this perpetually, thinking it's cute, thinking it's funny, thinking that there's some empowerment to get on it. 
off of it, you know, because that's how these nigger bitches do. These racist white crackers, these nigger bitches, that's what they do. They feel insecure. You listen to the bitch, her voice, it's destroyed. You could tell from her gut, you could hear the energy coming out of her voice and it's an energy of defeat. It's an energy of disgust. Her life is defeated. She ain't shit. She's been ran through, I don't know, sexually or otherwise, but it's obvious. You could look at her face. You could look at the destroyed look on her face. Civil War survivor looking ass motherfucker potholes and everything lines looking like she's 55 years old not even 40 yet realistically hard life ass bitch destroyed extremely insecure look at her community wall what it used to have probably every five seconds she would have some let me try to make myself feel better ass posts on her community wall and it's so obvious that she's trying to say she ate some insecurities deep insecurities she has she's got problems you know what i'm saying so when all you other folks go on here and talk about the rapists and say oh how could the rapists talk about other women in front of that girl and this and that and all, all this stuff and he disrespects her what the fuck do you expect I don't look at that shit like as if it's anything or whatever. For he can dog her. Of course he can fucking dog her out. Look at her. Listen to her. You know, it's written all over her face in the place that she is destroyed. You know what I'm saying? So, now think about it. So, is it possible that she's doing this consciously or unconsciously, subconsciously, subconsciously? Subconscious is the most powerful of them all. So, maybe unconsciously, that's her get back. She's like, you know what? I'm going to step into this black woman's house, that little shack that they live in. When they walk through the door, there's a mantle that's right through the door. And on that mantle is the rapist's dead mother um, picture. The rapist's mother's picture is on the mantle. So, that's like the first thing you see. Big Mama, to let you know that this is Big Mama's dwelling. This is big mama's house she steps in big mama's house and disrespects women that look uh atypically like big mama and people in the family that are just like big mama this stranger to this this nigger bitch that a rapist decided to take in because he's insecure so you know birds of a feather he's like yeah i got some money yeah, whatever you know that's their ugly ass business they step into that real small house too i think it's like terrible like fifteen thousand dollars value or or, or or something pussy like that destroyed roof it's a shack you know what i mean but be it a shack or not it's still big mama's house and this woman was doing this and of course the rapist has no problem with this it didn't cross his mind that she's disrespecting his own dead mother his own mother and his own mother's house it never crossed his mind it probably did now or the first time i brought it up you know, I bet they'll never do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a catch-22. Because if I say, oh, she'll never do that racist shit again. And then she does it to try to spite what I'm saying. Like, oh, you can't control me. But then if she does do that, she's still uh, feeding into my point that she's disrespecting Big Mama's house. So, you know, it's kind of like a trap right there. But motherfuckers shouldn't be worried about what some other asshole, myself in this position online, has to say about them. Just don't disrespect that black woman's house. Learn the fucking lesson and go on about your business and get some respect in your ass. But of course, the nigga never thought to check on that. He never had a problem with it. He co-signed it. He supported it. And of course, that now that uh, the nigger bitch, was she consciously aware of it? I doubt it. Was she subconsciously aware of it? Subconsciously, she's probably like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I know I ain't shit and I'm insecure and everything. And this black man is disrespecting me. You know what? This is a great get back right here. Let me disrespect this whole lineage, his family and women that are just like his mother right so if you want to talk about racist and point fingers at racist why don't you point your the racist pointing finger at the rapist and the rapist's racist aka the nigger bitch will you okay now you're talking about me you're saying my mother's jewish my father's middle eastern i don't know where you get all this shit from like i said both my parents are of mixed race both of them are nigger in culture. Let's just put it that way. So I grew up as a nigger in culture. Genetically, I'm nigger and cracker. And then when you quoted my thing talking about um, me saying I'm a nigger and a white person, you said it wrong. You said it just like that. You said that I said I am nigger and I'm white. No, I didn't say I'm nigger and I'm white. I said I'm nigger and cracker. See how you trying to paint things in a certain uh, type of way? And, and what type of shit are you on? You're saying I, I feel comfortable saying nigger because I'm not black? Like, 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 look how simple your stupid your mind works. Like, I would think someone that is more white or that is totally white on average would be more um, adverse to saying the word nigger. 
right? Wouldn't it be more the people that are more black that would feel a comfort in doing that? I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. But you're an insecure piece of shit loser that's topping off a motherfucking real racist. But I bet you won't even uh, utter a word about that. If it doesn't have to do with you letting that man know that you didn't have anything to do with any uh, uh, insinuations in a song that I did against him and then a... <laughs> Or the other song I did where it was only a few lines. You had to let that motherfucker know. Look, do not get mad at me. <laughs> I know that him and that uh, nigger bitch that he's with, they're having a ball laughing at your ass after he said he'll never do a beat. I figured he'll do, do something to probably this whack shit in the background. I figured he'd do something to one of your beats now after I kind of like put it out there that he said he'd never do something to any of your beats i mean it's all a game but i mean you're slow so i'm gonna let you go about the slow business do what you do right oh what's up a chair again with these motherfucking beats you what the f you slow ass bitch <laughs> why are you even gonna recap my proposed beat battle and do anything less than just accept and proceed to then go into the battle. The only reason I'm proposing a battle, I'm not itching to have a beat battle with you. It's you got on this thing and you had something to say about my beats. So I'm like, okay, shh, fuck all that talking shit. Let's put it out for the public to decide. Here's my five beats, put up your five beats. That's the end of it. Anything less than that is you essentially saying you're too scared and you're bowing out. Otherwise, you'd have those five beats up already. You'd have a poll with both of our videos. I'd have a poll with both of our videos and we tally up the score. Simple as that. I fed you the easiest, uh, most convenient way to have a battle of any kind. And you, which is slow ass, you get on your live stream and you do what you always do. You start playing beats in the airy ass background. <laughs> Like as if that's any good determination of anyone being able to hear the full everything of your beats and the nuance. You don't know how to use a broadcaster. You're fucking super slow. You probably don't even have a computer. You get on here, live stream, and you play shit from the background. You're still in like 85 or some shit. I don't know. And then you're, you're saying, all right, here's my five beats and you're playing some shit in the background. Why not just post them and really step out? No, no, you don't want to do that. You feel you have a support system with the three people in your chat room. <laughs> so you're like, all right, they're already saying good shit about me. So here's my five and let me listen to them, you know, support me. Because psychologically, if I'm the host and they're in the chat room, there's always going to be some people that's just going to support my shit anyway. It's just psychologically how things work, right? So you ducked the battle. You lost the battle, essentially. You didn't. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. Yet you're still talking shit. Why talk shit? My shit is still up. And if anyone wants to take those five beats and take it to another part of YouTube or even another site, and we could do it with whole different audiences uh, judging, and we could do the poll that way, I'm with it. I already did my part. I put my five forward. But yeah, you get all that talking is just you saying, look, I am not trying to battle you. I do not truly believe my shit is better than yours. Otherwise, I'd have already put it up. I am scared of what people are going to really tell me about my shit. I'm going to stick in my stick in my little uh, fat chubby ass bubble and keep trying to build my uh, punk ass up. That's all that is. You duck the battle. And as dude said, your sound quality is horrible. Even when you do post beats, I was like, yeah, dude got a point. Like my shit, you play one of my videos, 1080p, you hear the full clarity. I export it the way that I created it. You, you use antiquated ways to make beats. So even when you do it, the, the initial uh, result of your stuff is gonna have a bland, dull sound to it. You don't know how to master things to actually enhance it. But then when you post them, I, I checked out four of your songs uh, a little while ago. None of them can go beyond 480p in quality. 480p, not even 720p. My shit's 1080p, usually all the time, 1080p. Those five beats I put up, 1080p, crystal clear. Change-ups, you know what I'm saying? Choruses, switch-ups, all types of stuff. Beat drops for, for before the chorus and after the chorus and all that stuff. Real-type shit. 
So yeah, you got horrible, horrible sound quality. That is a good point. And yeah, that Adobe shit you're using, I call it Adobe. I know you call it whatever the other shit is. It's, it's the same Cool Edit Pro, Adobe. I used to use Adobe Audition, aka Cool Edit Pro. Yeah, I used that about a decade and some change ago. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Just like styles, just like other people have tried to tell you. They try to tell you, update your sounds, get a sound uh, bank and download some shit into your shitty equipment so you could have a variety of sounds. You know what I'm saying? You're, it's like you have a not even a full deck of 52 cards. It's like you have a cards one through five. These are what your beats are. Cards uh, ace, two, three, four, five right you have five cards in your hand and each one of your beats is just a different permutation of those cards one beat is two three five four one another beat is five uh two one three four you know what i'm saying just a different combination of five cards meaning you're just juggling a, a little small amount of sounds so yeah them shits do sound the same and how do you know that that what i'm saying is what i truly believe because remember, the latest song I did over one of your beats, I had to enhance it. So that tells you everything you need to know. That tells you it's not just me on some, oh, when we were cool, your shit was good. But when we not, now I say it's ass. No, not aware of any issue that you had with me. When I actually was ready to make a more better song, because those are the four shits I did. I just did them shits mad quick. I wrote them shits. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just love doing music. Hey, you want to do a project? I'm with the camaraderie and everything. Boom, here we go. Them little 10 minute written up shits. The latest one I did was some quick written up shit too. But I said, you know what? I really, since it was a pop sounding thing, I was like, let me actually take this one a little more seriously. So I actually had to enhance it. I'm like, I can't just keep this shit as is. No chorus, just the same piano and a little slight beat drop here, but not really and all that. I was like, now nah, let me actually make this into a real beat. So, and that was when we were allegedly cool, right? So that tells you what I'm saying is not me talking on some out my ass or hypocritical shit. No, this is how I truly feel. Ace, two, three, four, five. You're, 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 all of your beats are a different combination of just a couple of cards. You're not working with a full deck. <laughs> I mean, and you're obviously retarded for you to have been, you could play some shit from 10, 11, 12, 15 years ago, and you're still rapping the same trash way, rhyming the same word with the same word. Okay, I understand the disjointed shit. You throw it off, end of a bar, you have a thing that doesn't rhyme with anything. A little of that there, that could be worked into a cool style. There's a couple people that could freak that right, but you're not one of them. <laughs> you're not one of them. Your shit is trash. Why do you think other niggas are saying, yeah, you don't write, you freestyle? Because niggas can't believe that you actually write that, that nonsense. You are a motherfucking simpleton. Your mind does not work. You're short, you're chubby, you're fat, you're ugly, you're a bitch. You got a Jewish, uh, an acidic Jewish face, but you're a black man. Fuck is wrong with you, little bitch ass, little Wario looking ass motherfucker, dumpy ass, fuck ass bitch. What horrible sound quality. You're gonna play your shit in the end, and then you try to flex by playing your shit in the background. That's how slow you are. Streaming from a little, uh, from a little Ronald Reagan phone, streaming, <laughs> and then in the background, you got the sound of the beat, and you want people to hear this and hear this nuance and that nuance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in the fucking background. You're fucking retarded, you little bitch. So go on about your retarded business or not. I don't really give a fuck. Um, and I didn't want to say this before when you were flexing and saying you got good beats and all that shit. But I'm going to say it now. Anyway, I didn't really want to hurt your feelings. Out of this little circle of individuals, at least that I'm aware of, by far the best beat maker, aka beat makers, is NSLM. Go to my Tone Space channel, any of y'all, check out my music and anything that's produced by NSLN, that's usually when I put uh, my best foot forward. I do that so much that it's been a while since I put out a song on any of their tracks because I haven't really been feeling like I'm my full self. I feel like I've been playing around with rhymes you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, it's all fun when I do it super serious or otherwise. But I feel like I've kind of been playing around. It's like, this shit is so fire, I can't just fuck around on it. Even though, ironically, usually what happens is when you're doing shit in the most play around way, a lot of times you come up with the best shit. So I have been making dope shit just on some playing around shit. But 
you know, it, 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 it's their shit. I got to really, I got like three or four songs that I didn't even finish. I rarely leave songs unfinished. When I get to writing, I get the whole shit done in one thing. But it's like, I want to be so thorough over this stuff that I actually got two or three songs that's still in, in progress. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I had to step away and say, yeah, I got to come back to this when I really kill it, kill it. But those are the best producers, hands down. So if you didn't know, you know now. N-S-L-N. Tone Space. That's why I don't put their uh, songs with their beats on the Poets Kane channel or on this channel. You know what I'm saying? That's my really put my foot forward out there beat and i'm gonna comprise a little album over that stuff it's not gonna be for sale it's just gonna be you know a compilation of stuff all in one so i can have like a nice nsln produced piece a masterpiece actually you know what i'm saying so when i do get back you know to my grind to doing the real shit is gonna be them second to that my shit i'm the second i'm in second place as far as this little cypher with uh beats i also take my own shit seriously too i mean i could fuck around on my own shit too but i also do serious shit over my production but yeah vlogs out of everyone else you are down at the bottom and no you said oh yeah people uh they 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 say your shit's whack because they look at you and they see that you're you said this about yourself they see that you're ugly you're fat you're short so then they just say that your music is whack because the guy that makes it is ugly fat and short and you're actually saying this openly about yourself whatever but no that's not it at all in fact the best producers i know are usually fat <laughs> <laughs> and it is what it is. I guess producers love to sit on their ass in the studio making beats all day with fries in their mouth. I don't know. But no, that's it. Not, that's not it at all. Trust. It's the actual work you put forward. Most of them shit sound mad corny too. Like with that whoops, whoops that you put in practically every beat. And those, uh, it, it, it's, yeah, those, those same, it's the same sounds. Ace two three four five you're not working with even a, a tenth of a full deck that's why you're shit. so the same you're juggling the same sounds with every beat and then the sounds that you're juggling aren't even that good matter of fact it's not ace two three four five because in many card games ace is a good card it's two three four five six those are the cards you're working with you have no ace up your sleeve you don't even have a jack you jackass you're working with the low tier cards five low tier cards and, and each beat is just a different combination of those same bullshit sounds you hear my shit everything sounds different I experiment I do other things with it like the first beat in my um beat battle shit what do you hear in there you hear a water splash that's a natural water splash that I recorded and I put in that beat that plow plow you know what I'm saying I do shit like that I take other sounds I'll do this right here scratch on vinyl i don't mean like djing but like scratch on like cloth or something with my nail and then make that loud and turn that into a a, a beat you know what i'm saying i'm creative I actually <laughs> there's no limit to my sound array i'll stay downloading um new different sound packs and all that too and i blend sounds too well, there's a couple of my beats you can't tell what instrument it is why because i'm an alchemist with the shit i blend i'll blend a guitar with um a koto <laughs> i don't even know what that some asian thing i'll blend a guitar and a koto and then put a piano in there and just create a whole new sound that no one's ever heard of before that's tone space shit if you're interested in tone space check it out check out uh poets kane channel check out the five beats i have obviously this nigga's ducking the battle otherwise he'd have done it already tell me what y'all think and i'm always open to critique tell me tell me what i could do better shit but uh that's it this nigga's a bitch <laughs>